here we are in Gay's office. Yep, and um, on a beautiful day in Southern California. <laughs> and I'm here with my beloved, who just got back from Santa Cruz this afternoon. Yep. So we're having a big uh, welcome home. <laughs> yeah, and we're um, very excited about trying out this new technology. We've been watching it uh, develop over the last several months. And uh, so we're really interested to see how it works. And we also are uh, going to be introducing it to you a little bit at a time. So we want to get your feedback. Uh, and particularly, we want to get your feedback about whether you can hear both of us because we're using one microphone <laughs> tonight. <laughs> That'll be different in the future, but right now we're using one microphone, so I'm sort of huddling over <laughs> here. And <laughs> we couldn't find our little splitter that uh, <laughs> splits the signal yeah. in half. Yeah. Um, I wanted oh, to. Oh, great audio! Oh, good. Oh, Thank good. you. Excellent. <laughs> um, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about um, a couple of aspects of this that we're going to be doing. One of the main reasons we're doing this, of course, is to kind of spread the word about creating conscious relationships. Um, uh, Katie and I have a, what we call our 500 year plan where we want to uh, uh, give people tools and techniques that will change your relationships right now. But we also want to create a climate now in this lifetime that can reach forward into the future mm -hmm. and can uh, help people of the future not have to make some of the same mistakes that human beings have had to make relationship wise up mm -hmm. until now. One of the things mm -hmm. we're going to be doing tonight is taking you through a process that's a whole new way. It's kind of a taste of a whole new way we're working with now of solving challenging relationship problems. Uh, and the advantage of it is that it has the a way of getting underneath the level of spoken communication where, you know, sometimes you can go round and round mm -hmm. and round in circles mm -hmm. trying to solve a problem mm -hmm. and, and you talk it to death and that kind yeah. of thing. And so one of the things that uh, Katie and I are doing in this program is gradually revealing to the world a whole new par uh, paradigm that we've created that we're working on a book on now. And that so throughout this year, we're going to be bringing one more chunk of the paradigm into play when we get together on these sessions. So you'll be able to help uh, invent with us this new paradigm that mm -hmm. we're uh, bringing out into the world. Uh, so one of our colleagues calls it conscious loving for the 21st century. So it's a very Love exciting <laughs> new set of tools and techniques. <laughs> 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 Doesn't taste like vinegar. <laughs> and yes, we do have a stake in this company, just yes. as full, full disclosure. <laughs> they're, they're local people here in Ojai. We, we're highly supportive of our Ojai neighbors. Um, Ojai only has about three businesses. <laughs> we have to support them all completely to the max. We're one of them, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so uh, let's see if we uh, see any uh, questions coming in um, here. Um, you know, oh, Crystal says she loves Ojai. Oh, wonderful. wonderful. Oh, and Peter says, I love that stuff. Excellent. Great. So it sounds like it's uh, getting into your <laughs> area. I love that commercial break for the drink. Yes. Yes. Right yes. <laughs> now you can all, I love water too, and, uh, and we drink a lot of it. <laughs> this evening's master class brought to you by water and kefira. <laughs> <laughs> So here's one of the things I'd like to have you add to the exploration that you were just doing. I'd like you to notice, when you think of your issue, which of these centers lights up the most for you, or you can feel the most going on? So if it's the your throat center, that's great. If it's your heart center, that's great. If it's your stomach area, that's great. And what I'd like to invite you to do is to bring your curious attention and your breath to that area. So you're literally kind of fluffing it the way that you would fluff a pillow. And imagine that you've got a pillow here in your throat or you've got a pillow in your chest area, your heart area, or you have a pillow in your belly and you're lightly fluffing it with your breath and your attention. You're being curious, so you're really resting your awareness, not on the issue in your mind, but where you're experiencing that in your body. And bringing that easy breathing and your, hmm, I wonder what's, hmm, just wondering what your body might have to tell you about that. So let yourself just do that for a few minutes while we're continuing. One of the things that um, when Kathleen and I got together 30 years ago, 
I was really into breathing and she was <laughs> really into movement <laughs> and uh, it was such a great combination <laughs> because I was totally convinced that uh, if people on earth only knew about this one thing about breathing, how yeah. they could use breathing and transformation, yeah. it would change humanity. And she I, would... of course, thought that moving was in movement skills were going to change the world. And So together we now are obsessed with breathing <laughs> and moving uh, <laughs> skills, plus a lot of other things, too. Um, we have another question. Uh, my wife and I travel often. What are your suggestions to reconnect when we get back together? This is really interesting because I was just traveling and I just got back this afternoon. And um, so uh, what I found is that even you know as connected as we feel that when I'm off doing something else and I come back, there is this, there is this, you know, how how are you and how am I and mm -hmm. who are we together? And so what we did this afternoon was really give ourselves a chance to simply connect where we weren't doing anything else, where we weren't trying to do business or you know catch each other up on phone calls. We were really just taking the time to reconnect. And, and one of the things that's really helpful for that is, what am I feeling? What's been going on for me? What do I want to communicate? And being willing to listen to the other. And we got reconnected in, that, in a really juicy way very quickly. One thing, um, also, another way to answer that question is, here's what not to do. Based <laughs> on several thousand <laughs> sessions with couples over the years, uh, let's see, how about you role play coming in and saying, mm -hmm. back from your trip and how yeah. wonderful it is yeah. to see me again. Okay, all right. Hey, hi, darling, I'm back from my trip. It's sure great to see you. Yeah, but the upstairs toilet is broken. Now that little conversation right there, we've heard hundreds of different versions about that from people that said, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to connect yeah. and I got hit with an onslaught of all of the things mm -hmm. that had gone wrong with the kids, the dryer, the washer, right. the and car. There's always that and stuff. Yeah. So one thing that we really highly recommend is to create a little um, intimacy zone mm -hmm. quickly after you get back. It doesn't even have to be you yeah, know, it doesn't it could, need to be yeah, five minutes be, even, but yeah, just connecting just, with each other so that you get mm, your cells mm, mm -hmm. humming in harmony with mm, each other again. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a long mm. time. I was just realizing that one of the ways that I really connect with you is through your voice. And so mm. just being up next to you and feeling the vibration of your voice, then I get back into harmony with you. And I imagine that everybody has some favorite way of connecting. And if you really just give yourself just a few minutes of that, then you can come back into connection with each other. And that may be a good place to come in for a landing tonight. Um, I um, really want to thank all of you for being with us on this grand, wonderful experiment, <laughs> uh, especially those of you that are, what do you call them, early adopters that uh, jump in yeah. first. And um, I see 250 of you around the world that uh, <laughs> have uh, joined us tonight and and so uh, also in future um want to let you know that we uh, plan to r record these um, but what i'm really excited about is uh doing a kind of live uh partner transformation facilitation where we can be where we are and you are where you are and we can all join our consciousness to create a, a whole new kind of harmonious relationship on the planet. So I'm really excited about this going forward. We're very excited about it because in order for our 500 year plan to uh, succeed, uh, a few million of us have to have a five year plan succeed, which is <laughs> uh, in, in my estimation, a great five year plan in anybody's life is to create an openness to experiencing quantum the amount of love five mm. years from now mm. that you are experiencing right now. Mm. And maybe you don't know how to make it mm. happen yet, but I can tell you that mm -hmm. from a lot of experience, anything you're willing to wonder about can mm. come true. Mm. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. From I, We've got people really from all over the world, and I really appreciate you uh, tuning in, and we'll let you know when the next one comes. It's going to be uh, the next first Monday of the month. All right. Much love to all of you. Good night. Mm -hmm.